people say cauliflower looks like a brain. Actually, your brains look more like walnuts. In a way, the brain's bumpy, but why? Welcome to Nicole and Control. Today, we're gonna talk about your bumpy brain. The bumps are there because the surface of your brain is folded and wrinkled. The surface of your brain is called the cerebral cortex. It's made of nerve cells called neurons. There are 10 billion neurons in there. More neurons than there are people in the world all in one brain. All the folds and wrinkles on the surface of your brain are there so it can fit in your head. It's like if I want to put this paper in this cup, it's not going to fit in there flat. But not every animal has a bumpy brain. Rats, squirrels, frogs, and some other animals have smooth brains. Komodo dragons have smooth brains. Sharks have smooth brains. Ostriches have smooth brains. And those brains are smaller than their eyeballs. Bumpy brains tend to show up in the larger mammals. Cats, dogs, elephants, whales, pigs, monkeys, apes, and people have folded brains. On the outer layer of the brain, all the nerve cells line up in the same direction. The main part of the cell is on the outside and the connecting parts are in the inside. Not only does that folding allow more neurons to fit, it puts the connecting parts closer together. That way neurons can communicate faster. By the way, there are a lot of things people think they know about the brains that just aren't true. Maybe you've heard that we only use 10% of our brains. Not true, we use all of our brains. Different areas of the brain have different purposes. Maybe you've heard of people being left-brained or right-brained. Each part of the brain has a special function, but they have to work together. They communicate through the part of a brain called the corpus callosum, which joins them together. Maybe you've heard you're born with all the brain cells you'll ever have and you won't grow new ones. Actually, everyone can grow new brain cells. It's called neurogenesis. Some scientists think exercise and stress relief help you grow new brain cells. Also, things that make you concentrate more than usual, like learning an instrument or trying to write with your other hand. It's called neuroplasticity. So if you're right-handed, Maybe you learn left-handed violin. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye! The Brachiosaurus has a small brain, so it probably didn't have folds, right? It's called the corpus callosum, which, which the surface of your brain is called the cerebellar. They communicate through a, what?